Sony has just announced a new compact full-frame E-mount mirrorless camera with many exciting features, the Sony zv e one Among the exciting features, one can find recording footage internally in 4K at 60p in 4.2.210-bit all intra onto SDHC-SDXC memory cards, which is especially interesting for filmmakers and content creators. In addition, a future free firmware update will unleash this little beast's full 4K 120p and HD 240p capabilities. So let's take a closer look at the rest of the features this new hybrid Sony camera has to offer. First, the compact and lightweight form factor of the Sony ZV-1 could be seen as a legacy of the A7C. Indeed, the ZV-1 is 121mm wide and only 72mm high, with a depth of 54mm and a weight of 483g-106 lbs. With such a small size, it'll be easy to carry it in your bag all day long. However, if you have big hands, you might have your pinky in the air while shooting, as the grip is relatively tiny. You'll find a variangle LCD touchscreen at the back of the camera but no viewfinder. Also, you'll find a new, step zoom button at the back of the camera that you can use in combination with the zoom lever. This button will engage the clear image zoom function that digitally zooms in on the footage without losing quality. In 4K, you can zoom up to 1.5 times and 2 times in full HD. On the top left of the camera is a Sony MI hot shoe mount compatible with the company's cable-free microphones. Also, you'll find a tally lamp and an upgraded three-capsule microphone that allows you to choose the built-in or external mix front slash rear slash omnidirectivity in the camera menu. Below the on-off switch on the top right, you'll find a still slash movie slash S and Q switch. There is also a zoom lever, a dedicated rec button, and a dial to adjust your aperture slash shutter settings, for example. You'll also find two exciting buttons in this area, a bokeh switch button and a button dedicated to product shooting. As its name suggests, the bokeh switch button lets you open slash close your aperture to isolate a subject. Then, the camera will automatically compensate for the exposure change by adjusting the shutter speed and ISO. The product showcase button will be handy for vloggers slash YouTubers that are holding a product to the camera and want it to focus on it instead of their face. Connectivity Input and Output Ports On the right side of the Sony zv e one you'll find a 3.5mm audio input and a headphone jack, a USB-C port that supports power delivery, an SDHC-SDXC card slot, and a micro-HDMI output port. Unfortunately, this micro-HDMI port does not support any RAW output. Also, the camera has built-in wireless connectivity, Wi-Fi 2.4 and 5 GHz, to connect your smartphone and transfer files via the Creator's Cloud app. For live streaming, you can use the USB-C output port to live stream 4K 30p and FHD 60p content. Lastly, the camera is powered by NPFZ100 batteries, similar to the one used by the FX30-FX3, with a claimed battery life of 95 minutes. Image Sensor the newest Sony zv e one looks like a blend of ZV-series easy-to-use VLOG functions, the A7S3 12MP image sensor, the Bions XR and AI chipset found in the A7R4, and the compact form factor of the A7C. So let's start with the image sensor. As it has the same one found in the A7S3, you'll get impressive low-light performances with a maximum ISO of 409,600 and a solid 12 stops of dynamic range according to our lab test of the A7S3. The camera features built-in 5-axis image stabilization, IBIS. Also, a new, dynamic active mode will combine IBIS and electronic image stabilization to stabilize your footage further. According to Sony, in dynamic active mode, combined with a wide-angle lens, handheld shooting is possible even in fast-walking scenes that would otherwise be difficult without the use of a gimbal. Recording Modes the Sony zv e one can record internally in 4K 60p in 10-bit 4.2.2 all intra. According to Sony, your footage will be recorded using the entire 4K full-frame image sensor without pixel binning. However, as I mentioned, there is no RAW output via the micro HDMI port. Also, a future free firmware update will unleash the camera's full capabilities with the addition of 4K 120p and FHD 240p recording modes. The zv e one features an interesting, cinematic vlog setting that will bake in 2.35-1 Cinemascope black bars in your 16.9 footage. Picture Profiles Regarding picture profiles, you'll get the classic S-Log 3-S Cinetone and four other looks, 
clean slash chic slash fresh slash mono. The ZV E1 is one of the first cameras that features four extra mood settings that you can choose to change the color tone of your image. These moods include Auto, colors optimal for the environment. Gold, warm colors. Ocean, cool colors. Forest, vintage slash nostalgic colors. In total, you can get 17 different looks in camera by combining a picture profile, Sony calls it a look, and a mood, except for the mono black and white picture profile that can't be mixed up with a mood color setting. Autofocus performances. In terms of autofocus performances, modes, and features, the Sony ZV E1 is very well equipped with the Bion's XR processing engine and dedicated AI processing unit found on the A7R V, the A7 IV, the A1 and A7S III. Here is everything you'll get. Focus map and AF assist. Focus breathing compensation. AF subject shift sensitivity settings and AF transition speed. Subject recognition, animal, bird, insect, car slash train slash airplane, and humans. Regarding humans, the camera can recognize the human pose based on AI and using deep learning technology. In short, the camera should recognize a subject even from the back or when their face is covered. As a camera for vloggers, it should be hard to get blurry footage with the ZV E1. But AI based and vlogging features do not end here. Sony ZV E1 AI based and vlogging features. Sony put a lot of powered by AI features into their ZV E1. First, there is the auto framing mode. For example, when you are shooting an interview or music performance, the camera can identify the subjects in the frame and automatically crop the image to keep the subject in a prominent position. You can customize the crop level, full slash medium slash small crop, and the framing tracking speed. So why is this interesting? Using an external recorder, you can record the full uncropped image. Then, the ZV E1 can internally record a second clip that is cropped. That way, you have two clips with different crop levels, which can be handy for quick turnaround interviews, for example. This mode will work best for lockup shots with the ZV E1 on a tripod. The next AI-based feature is what Sony calls Framing Stabilizer. This mode automatically keeps the subject's position in the frame while applying dynamic active mode image stabilization. So, if you are following someone walking handheld, the subject will always be dead center. Price and Availability The Sony ZV E1 will be available in April 2023 for $2,198. A kit is also available with the Sony FE 28-60mm f 4 56 for $2,498. I think this is an excellent offer for vloggers and YouTubers working on tight deadlines or content creators looking for a compact camera body but don't want to sacrifice any features. What do you think about this ZV E1 compact mirrorless camera? Could it be a lovely addition to your kit or as a daily creation tool? What feature are you the most excited about? Don't hesitate to let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching the video to the end, please if you love our video click the like button, give us a thump up, subscribes, share and drop a comment on the video you like to see next.